This one's gonna be on a command line Twitter client. Uh, I think it's pronounced terse. Uh, it's kind of like a play on the the word curse or in curse. Um, but someone asked me like, you know, what's a, a good Twitter client like a month ago, and I tried out a few. Some of them were really crappy. Like I couldn't really read the timeline really well. Uh, it was all messy and shit. Or you know, their layout sucks or their hotkey sucks. One of those three. And so this one is probably like the best one I've used so far. Anyways, let's try this one out here. But when you start the program, it's gonna ask you for um, your token or your pin code here. Now to get this to work, let me go to my browser here. But basically, you want to follow this link that they have here, right? Um, you can do well. You can copy this, or you can do shift. Oh, I mean, not shift. Control and click if you're using Quake here. And uh, it'll open this link, and then you hit authorize, and then you copy this sucker here, right? And then uh, to paste it in here, you can do Control Shift and B, and then you push Enter, and there you go. That's pretty much how you activate that. Uh, let's go back over here. Anyways, this is the program, and how would you use this? Well, you want to learn the hotkeys first. So to learn the hotkeys. You just hit the question mark, so shift and question mark, and I'll show you all the hotkeys. You can use your up and down arrow to see some more at the bottom here, all right? But I'll go over the basics here. So I hit escape here. If you want to tweet something, you hit uh, T, all right? And you tweet like um, I don't know what what it's July first. I would say almost Fourth July. I don't know some goofy shit. Then you hit enter twice to um, post it because it says right here you have to hit enter twice for validation. So you hit enter, enter and then your tweet has been updated so you want to refresh it you can hit uh, shift and S and there you go. See that my first tweet right here it's uh, what we just posted. right? Uh, so that's how you would tweet stuff. Now in here they have this thing called buffers so you have one buffer here another buffer, another buffer, and another buffer. Buffers are basically like tabs that you have in your, your browser. So there's the same shit, but they call it buffers in here. But just know it's, it's the same thing as tabs. Anyways, to get uh, you know between them, you can go L to go right here, H to go left. So if you use Vim hotkeys, then you're familiar with this, right? H and L and to go up and down is J and K so J let's go down K is to go up right um, so that's pretty much it for that if you want to like let's say reply to someone here you can hit uh, R and then you see that um, it has their name pre-filled out that you're replying to and then you can type in whatever message you want so we'll hit escape here uh, so that's pretty much for that. Uh, they do have this thing, it's kind of like a tweet deck. So right now we have one, um, what is that, one uh, single view here. If you hit N, it'll combine it with the mentions. So you have your tweets buffer and your mentions buffer here. Right? If you hit N again, it'll combine your favorites here. So you have three. Now if you want to undo one of them, you can go Shift and N. So capital N I mean. Right? And so that there you go. That's how you can do that. And you can still use your um, what is it? Your navigation things, right? You can go up and down. You go this way. You do that. So if you want to do like the tweet deck style, you can do that. Although it doesn't actually save it though. If you keep going to uh, your right side here, and you try to go back, it doesn't save it. I'm not sure why, but um, anyways, that's what they got there. So and 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 uh, was it capital N to undo it? Um, stuff, other stuff you can do. Oh yeah, okay, let's say you want to delete a buffer. So you hit D, you can delete the buffer you want. Right. So now we just have two only. Um, if you want to search on, uh, what is that, Twitter here? You can do forward slash. And you search for a keyword, like let's say, um, what is that? Um, yeah, Linux. Right, push enter twice. And I'll create a new buffer up top here. So you can see up top, 
they have this thing called search Linux here we just search for that keyword and whoever posted it um, their message with the you know the word Linux inside it it'll actually come up in here right uh, so that's it for that if you want to add a search to your buffer um, yeah that's all really gotta say about the programs um, way better than all the other ones that I've tried this one actually looks nicer and it's very easy to get into um, other things you want to do let's say you want to get rid of your uh, or get a new token because right now uh, you know everyone saw my pin code and everything what you can do is uh, let's quit out of this hit Q right so you know every time uh, you start up again it will actually save your token but if you want to get a new token let's quit out of this here make sure you go into your um, what is it? your terse folder we'll list out some files here right so they have this token here which is the one that we put in the beginning our pin code so you want to delete that so rm token and uh, we'll delete it and also you want to do is um, go to your twitter account right go to your um, settings apps and then you can revoke the access right and that's pretty much it that one's gone and if you want to make a new one you can always start up uh, what's that what do we did terrorists here and then it'll ask you for uh, you know your token again if you want to do that uh, so that's it for that if you want to get rid of your token get a new one but as far as for this Twitter client yeah this is probably the best one I've tried so if you want to use it go ahead that'll be it for this one